researchers are beginning to learn more about a type of severe weather we know very little about, hailstorms. Meteorologist Max Paris spoke with the head of this new project about their extensive storm chasing journey. He got an exclusive look at one of their specialized vehicles that drove into the heart of these powerful storms. It's the calm after the storm, as researchers here at Northern Illinois University are just returning from a six-week field expedition, collaborating with 17 other institutions on a massive new study about hail, with the goal of improving forecasts while also mitigating the damage this type of severe weather can cause. There's never been a research project like this one. Scientists driving headfirst into the worst storms imaginable you guys get going and get out of here. to learn as much as possible about the least studied type of severe weather. How does the hail form in a storm to what is its impact at the surface and how can we build a better resilient society? Hail causes $10 billion in damage across the country every year. So an NIU meteorology professor, Dr. Victor Gensini, was awarded an $11 million grant from the National Science Foundation. He knew that would put a dent into his quest for knowledge. You can tell by the hood, it looks more like a golf ball than a truck hood. I was going to uh, say so Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese is a good analogy. The professor, in charge of over 100 researchers, driving more than two dozen vehicles, covering 15,000 miles of the Great Plains, setting up equipment to surround the storm, getting a 3D look within the clouds to see how hailstones develop to better improve computer model forecasts. Was it harder coordinating 30 vehicles in the field or your three sons? <laughs> Uh, they can both be a handful <laughs> at, at times. Once we split, though, stick with the uh, ground too. These scientists also working with the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety to test different types of roof shingles to see which ones work best against the worst Mother Nature has to offer. And it's a race against the clock as there's only a matter of minutes to collect the hail samples before they melt away. You'd be parked right the storm would be hitting and it'd sound like and then immediately what you would do is you'd go out you'd gather the hail we'd measure the hailstone 7.7 we'd put the hailstone into the bag and then it would go into the cooler the largest they caught was more than five inches across the size of a cantaloupe which could be deadly if you were caught under a storm like this there's a lot of pressure to make sure that you're not only keeping everybody safe, right, as priority number one, but number two, that you're actually executing the mission and getting the best possible data. And that's not easy. Dr. Gensini says the storm chasing was the hard part, and now comes the fun of analyzing all the data they collected. But he says because there's so much to comb through, it could take up to a full decade before all investigations are completed. This is so interesting. Max and Paris, thank you. And thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact based, unbiased news for all Americans.